So we often get asked, is it okay to use a full frame lens on a crop sensor and heard many people wondering which one they should buy for their Sony APS-C mirrorless camera body. So there's a lot of confusion out there about what the difference is between full frame lenses and APS-C lenses. Now in this video, we're gonna show you the difference between these two types of lenses, how it affects the field of view and how it may affect image quality. Stay tuned. As you may know, Sony makes mirrorless cameras with APS-C sensors and full frame cameras. Now the A6000 series has an APS-C size sensor, so that would be the A6000, 6300, 6400, and 6500. The full frame series are the A7, A7R, A7S, as well as the flagship A9. Sony has a full lineup of lenses that are designed to be used with either the APS-C sensor bodies or the full frame sensor bodies. What happens when you switch it up? You're about to find out. So for this, we'll be using the A6400 and the A7 III to illustrate the difference between these types of lenses. On the lens itself, you'll see that it says E-mount in white lettering near the barrel of the lens. Now, all lenses for the Sony mirrorless cameras say E-mount on them referring to the physical mount of a lens. Lenses that are specifically designed for full frame are gonna say FE in front of the focal length, and this can be found on the barrel of the lens in front of the focal length of the lens itself. Now, it can also be found on the front of the lens inscribed in a circle around the glass element. An important thing to understand when comparing a full frame lens and a lens designed for APS-C sensors is that the focal length does not change. So this 35 millimeter lens, this 35 millimeter f2.8 FE lens and the 35 millimeter f1.8 E mount share the same focal length, but their apparent field of view will be different when comparing them side by side. The 35 1.8 on the A6400 will have a narrower field of view than the FE version on the A7 Mark III. Now, when you hear people talking about the crop factor, it's actually gonna to refer to when you mount an FE lens or full frame lens onto a camera like the A6400 that doesn't have a full frame sensor. As I mentioned, the focal length isn't changing. The field of view will be like that of an E-mount lens, but what's happening inside is a bit different. All the lenses project an image circle and the size of the image circle depends on the format of the lens. So FE lenses are gonna project a larger image circle than that of the E-mount lenses. And when you attach an FE lens to an A6400, the additional information that the lens projects onto the sensor will be cropped out. Hence the crop factor everybody is talking about. Now lenses designed for the APS-C size sensor will project a smaller circle or just enough to fill the smaller sensor, which tends to make the lenses smaller and more affordable. This is great for people who want to carry around a smaller camera kit. Now, once again, a 35 millimeter is always a 35 millimeter. The focal length doesn't change. What changes is the field of view. If you want to figure out the equivalent field of view when comparing the two cameras, multiply the focal length by 1.5 times. Now, when you do this, the apparent field of view of the 35 millimeter lens on an A6400 will be equivalent to that of a 52.5 millimeter on the A7 Mark III. Some say that using a full frame lens on an APS-C body has its benefits because you're only using the center portion of the image projected onto the sensor. Hence, you discard or crop out the edges of the image circle, which tend to be the weakest portions of the lens. Now, the edges are typically where you would see the lens distortion, lens flare, and chromatic aberration. This point is debatable, and we have not done serious tests yet to prove this, but I'd like to hear your responses. Now, perhaps this is something you should decide by looking at the lens itself. Overall, the size, price, maximum aperture, and optical quality. That being said, Sony allows you to mount APS-C lenses on full frame bodies, but that comes at a loss of resolution. On something like the A7 Mark III, which is a 24 megapixel camera, when you shoot in a super 35 millimeter crop mode, you're only gonna yield about 10 megapixels. So should you stick to lenses that are designed for your camera sensor? I would say not necessarily. When you need extreme telephoto, Sony only offers a 55 to 210. So that's where I would recommend using either the FE 70 to 300, 
100 to 400 or even the new FE 200 to 600 millimeter lens. Now, if you're shooting 4K on the A7R Mark III, that would be a terrific opportunity to use the crop sensor lenses because the camera performs best in the super 35 millimeter crop mode. Now, one of the advantages of having smaller lenses is that they balance better on a handheld gimbal when recording video. Also, a lot of photographers I talk to will purchase full frame lenses for their APS-C sensor bodies because you know what, they know they're gonna wanna switch to full frame in the future and there are more lenses to choose from. Sony is currently offering 17 lenses designed for APS-C and 30 lenses designed for full frame. So what lenses do you tend to use on your Sony camera, full frame or APS-C? I'd love to hear your experiences using different Sony lenses, so please leave your feedback, comments, and questions in the description box below. If this video helped you understand, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Adam here, I'll catch you in the next video.